What is up YouTube? I am back. It is Kevin. Continuing on where I just previously left off in the playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, we had just finished a very, very long mission. In fact, the, the last video was like almost an hour and 20 minutes and it was nearly all of a mission or maybe a couple of missions from um, Nearly Headless Nick that led me to a cave. I had to fight off a bunch of spiders, a bunch of the uh, statue soldiers, and then entered into a hidden temple uh, and uh, and met, uh, what's his name, Percival, through a painting. And he told me I needed to have the book and put the book there, but I didn't have the book. So I got to get the book and, and go back there, basically. We killed a lot of spiders. Oh my god. We we definitely want to start trying to find out how to like start unlocking some of these traits. Um so we can put them in gear. And also this cloak probably is going to be sick, so I'd like to unlock that. So I'm hoping we get a lot more missions right now that are combat. I thought I already exited this. Okay, well, I can exit it now. We are, because we are still here. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, let's me get back. The map chamber. That's what they want to call it. Okay, so I can flew flames back once I get the book. So I'm probably gonna need to go talk to Fig, because I think Fig has the book. I just found the missing pages. And I see that thing over there. Still don't know what to do with that. Incendio. Oh yeah, and we unlocked a uh, trait. Oh, uh, I forgot what they were called. We unlocked the uh, like it's almost like skills. I forget. I'm back at Hogwarts. Hey, why was? I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose yeah. I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Yeah, go figure. We're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to, like, probably have a, a little downtime, basically, and study. Man. Yeah, fuck it. We're, we're destroying 90. We're, we need to get by uh, Hogsmeade again and sell a bunch of stuff and maybe buy some stuff, too. There, there's Jacob. Jackdaw quest. What is this room? Revelio. You need to learn the Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Yeah, see, we also unlocked the ability to select. This is going to be extremely useful. Because now we can put these abilities right here. Um, and I feel like while we have those abilities, I have this one attached there too. So when we're in non combat, like these are probably useful. Um, but it looks like we're about to go get another new ability Rebellion. Oh, uh, that's locked. That there's something behind that. Oh, uh, no, as well. Uh, Rebellion. Oh, it's on the other side of that. Okay. Um, so do we need to go to potions class? Is that what the next quest is going to be? Flying class. So we can get our broom.
Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and uh, Eteris, Eteris potions and use them simultaneously. So I, I've already, I think, unlocked Maxima and uh, Eteris. Um, but we get to Pulso, which, what did he say to Pulso is? It's kind of like a, it's a push away rather than uh, Akio that pulls you in. The flying class. We, we're gonna go flying class though. Oop, what happened there? I'm right here. This is right where I am anyways. Yeah, so we'll just follow. We'll follow the path here. We waited all night for Everybody this. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hey, I'm Perry Hodder. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! First try, bitches! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do well, this'll take, take some care. getting used to. The brooms are school property. <laughs> I want this them is returned brilliant. in one piece. <laughs> what a simple well assignment. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yes, please. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, uh, this is cool. This is gonna be cool. What a view! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice day for a flight. Hello, beautiful day, <laughs> love. Good. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. likes to make an appearance once in a while. Huh. Ah. I wish this was more of a challenge. I mean, it's nice scenery. This is rather fun. It's nice scenery, but I wish there was a, a, an actual challenge in this. Oh, well done. Maybe there's going to be... Maybe there's gonna be some time trial stuff, you know? 
I got it. He did not look. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty he school did not look broom excited. well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Yes, please. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Yeah, you got that right, Ravenclaw. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Oh, uh, Transfiguration? Let's what? hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by I the really window want that today. Class. Will you make up your mind? What are you trying to do with it, bro? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Uh, uh speed boost? Oh. Uh. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Okay, I wonder now these balloons There's out the there. There's the famous bridge. Can Think I fly up and pop them? holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. What is that? That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Damn, he's like super fast. And hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Bro. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. Uh, you're in this got class Jack because, you're still, because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. I wish Jack Black should be the actor. I know he's, like, old, but, like, As he, for you, he can voice a, you, you do know, well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. That's just what this game, that's the only thing this game is truly missing, is just more memorable characters with voice lines. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. So can I now take off anytime I want? <sighs> So I keep losing house points because I keep like listening to these little bitches, dude. I'm gonna get my my fucking. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Yeah, we might do that. Please I... meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. There's a lot of this stuff to do. J. Jobs. Missions. 
Uh, sorry, everyone. That's just me. You know, it's Jay on the keyboard. Jay means jobs before missions. Uh, Confringo. Whoa, conjuring spell, conjuration spell craft, the room of requirement. Oh, Professor Weasley, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do the room of requirement. Demanding delivery. Uh, you know, we're probably gonna go with this just for now because I actually need to get over to Hogsmeade and sell some stuff. So we'll just do this side mission really quick. Wait. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one is it? This one? Yeah. Yeah, but what I was saying, you know, the characters, they're just not memorable. But the game is really fun so far. I like the combat. The combat's pretty good so far. Um, Thanks, mate. Here I come. And yeah, I love the stuff with the school. It looks great, too. Yo, what's up, Perry? Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. It's me, Perry. Yeah, let me, uh... What can I do for you today? Yeah, before we get into that... Very good. Can I just sell Never all? Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Is there just a sell all button? Although, I don't want to sell this. Although, it's a lower item, so maybe I do. But it has... Does it have offense and defense? Is that what it's saying? We'll hang on to that one. It's a legendary. I don't know if I should... I mean, nor normally you don't want to get rid of legendaries. We'll hold on to the legendary. Oh, that was about to get rid of that. We'll hold on to that legendary too. From a buying perspective, now I, oh, I can buy like, uh, eh, I don't really want those. Uh, I, I hope yeah. to see you again. You know what? I don't, want, I don't want to do his mission. Uh, so we're we're gonna go back. And do room and requirement. With Mrs. Weasley. You know would have been cool? They should have got like, I don't know, maybe if they were too expensive. Oh, but get like Emma Watson, Daniel Radcliffe, and have them voice the like professors. You know? Like the teachers and such. Or, or you know, other characters. Although I guess most of the teachers and, and stuff are pretty old. Let Where is this? Professor like you, Weasley? Like even like the actor for Neville and all them. Why not bring them back and let them be like the mm. professors? The voice actors. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Draco Malfoy, you know, actor. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Off to you, Professor. What is this place? 
This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, Rebellion. a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. We're freaking wizards. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast. Now cast it. This one. Go on those chairs. Excellent oh, that's work. Cool. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. That Let's cool. move on. Revelio. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Hey, I, Goodness. I waited for you. My old school bag. My old school I bag. I wondered where that had got to. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few here. more inches of parchment than you expected. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <sighs> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Revelio. Accio. I pulled it out too far, right? I was supposed to climb up that. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Revelio! Incendio! Revelio! Miss a chest over there, huh? This is cool. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. <laughs> 
I hope that house elf can find us in here. Alright, well, hold on, is this a little secret? Akio! Oh, come on, bro. Revelio. Accio. Why? I have this little area right here. I obviously didn't figure this out over here, huh? Because that is definitely the way to go. So... Can I just pull this over again? Ah, uh, I think I know what to do. Yeah, this one gets pulled over here and then that other one just gets pulled. I think next, the next video I do, I'm gonna try out controller. I just feel like this game is probably like better, like better built for controller. What's up, Deke? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <laughs> Wait right there. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. 
Excellent. Oh, is this where it I can build can my things? It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Here, here, yeah, here's that thing. Desk of description. Use it to reveal magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. I wonder, if this, is this room where I'm going to be able to like transfigure like desks and pots and you know grow all this, all these things? Hand cloak. Ugh. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. You don't say so, love. Revelio. Oh, flu flame. I can't unlock her yet. Probably got to talk to Miss Weasley. So she can skadoosh. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table yeah. from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I, I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Good question. Mm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. So this is nice. This means I don't have to travel to multiple areas. Like, I don't have to travel to the greenhouse, um, to plants, and then I don't have to travel to... Uh... Incendio. The potions. The potions class to make potions. I have so much moonstone. A small scientific potion station with one burner. Botanical potions. Scientific potions. Electric potions. Uh, we'll put potions over here. Oh yeah, and I can put more than one. Uh, that rotates it. How do I change? There we go. Wait, how did I rotate it that way? Why can't I put it down? You have reached the budget for this type of item. Potion station budget. Complete more quests. All right, what is... What is this one unlock? This is the one I need. Hell yeah. When I start that, and then uh, conjure. I mean, because we got a scientific station, we're gonna put. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Is that not already in here? Yeah, it's over there. I don't need this. Cool. You can decorate everything. 
They have decorations, room artwork, seasonal decorations, statues, tables, pretty. So they, it's like these things. Is there anything else in here? Enchanted loom. Okay. Cool. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I think I speak for all of us when I say we would all love to speak to Deke. What is, uh... I have to purchase, uh... Ten minutes yield five. So this is the same as the, uh... The botany, the herbology class. Uh, we want to keep making this. I actually bruise these pretty quickly. How many do I have? I think we just gotta keep, we're gonna have to make some here. I need, actually I need to make, well I have these I think. I would use these on accident because this game made tab on the keyboard, you know, the the way you use potions and access your wheel, your potion wheel and or your consumable and throwable wheels. And that is typically like the menu button for most games. And I keep trying to hit that to get into my menu. Does it say how many I have in my inventory somewhere? I have a three now. I wonder how many I can hold. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Yeah, I probably have enough already, huh? I have to. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Jolly good. Bro, you are making a mess. Dude, that is so ugly. That's better. It's okay. What she's doing. There we go. Some scenery. What is this? A winged mirror, oval mirror. Put 
Put a chair. Babe, is there a table too? This matches. I don't know how many things I was supposed to build. They want more? Conjure. Oh, I need wall decorations. I'm just going all crazy here. Uh. Shall we move on? Yes, ma'am. You clean up, but you left. All right, now it's gone. I was about to say, Deke. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Uh... Damn, I'm gonna need another row of abilities. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Oh, hold on, hold that thought. Oh wait, never mind. I thought it was ready. Uh, hold your wand like this, and then what? Hit four. All right. Can you explain that again? I have some questions about alteration, Professor. Yes? How do I use the altering spell? Simply aim your wand at a conjured oh, item wait. that you would like to cast. <laughs> you can change an item's yeah, appearance yeah, yeah, yeah. in a number of ways. Give me through this. I got it. I forgot. I just unlocked Thank a you. spell for that. I'll be here if you need any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's this thing. And then you can move it or change the color. Oh, oh, no. What is it? Yeah. Uh, alter the style of an item. Adjust the size of an item. I can highlight the ground. Oh, that's cool. That, yeah, I like that one better. Damn, yeah, that's even cooler. The floor stuff is cool. Um, alter the style of an item. Are these styles? Yep, okay. 
Okay, now adjust the size of an item. Change size. There we go. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Ooh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Which one? Now which one do we want? They're all so good. from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Dee, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Scientific, botanical, electric, gothic. I like the gothic one there this is, this is pretty cool stuff Matching maybe that one below it, right? Kind of like that one. changing I thought I was changing the uh, I thought I was totally changing the door I don't know why change this one I guess that's cool okay that's good that's good hey Deke Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience of course eh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you Cool moonlit ambiance. A cool moonlit. Yeah, moonlit. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh yeah. Hmm, sounds perfect. Uh, 
Oh, shit. It's got RGB, y'all. Just like my house. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Where is that? Like if I want to expand, I can expand. An even bigger space. Nice. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. Bro, Miss Weasley is hooking it up. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Wonderful. Yeah, this place is sick. We got more room for activities. We got all this room for activities. That's cool. Okay. Um, so is it gonna sense when I need more room? So is that it? I did I finish this quest? J jobs. Oh, I need to purchase a broom. Okay, that's what we're gonna do on the next episode. This is probably a good time to stop this video. Uh, this is definitely a pretty cool little video. Not a lot of combat. I don't think there was, was there any combat in this? I can't even remember. Uh, but we did a lot of customization, learned a lot of little things here now. And so the next episode, we'll definitely be getting a broom first. And then uh, we'll probably go meet with Sebastian. I think that's what we'll do next. Um, I do wanna, I wanna eventually get this, but um, we'll probably go one, two, three in the next episode. If, as long as none of these take exceedingly long amounts of time. Um, but yeah, if anyone has been watching, uh, thanks again and I'll see you on the next episode.